Hallelujah. We're back again. Now the sun's going down. It's about almost probably 5.30 to 6. Over the operating tables that we're given. Hallelujah. A little workshop. Because along with this pilgrimage of Noah's Ark, uh, I was uh, also planning to make a, a new robe with the uh, Ark in my heart, in my mind. I just read the, the Noah's Ark story. Very fascinating, of course. It's so fascinating. It's part of my heritage, part of my my uh, spiritual lineage, my belief. Either way, that's 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 the Elohim I follow. Just like try to be as righteous as righteous as I could be as Noah. He was the only righteous one left, and uh, everything else had become violent and you know uh, slavery uh, for that sense. And it's going to continue again. <clears throat> But just for that, uh, really motivated me to make the new garments here. Uh, because what's real cannot bow down to its faith. Almost, uh, uh, it's like a false faith it's for money. I can't bow down like Daniel and uh, the, these guys did not bow down. Uh, we're Hebrews and, and the belief is always really strong. And I'm not alone anymore. There are still some of us left. And uh, still prophecies revealing us uh, more and more as the times of Noah extremely, extremely show uh, this this thing that was happening that made the Father want to end the earth. Um, you know, man is wicked in, his, in our own sin, and uh, it, it wants to create a slavery within ourselves, and that is half the time uh, working through all the whole system. And uh, it's a Christianity organization. I don't think it's government. But uh, Christianity can't bow down to the money uh, when they part my lineage. And what if African people dressed up how they dressed would come? You know, would they ask to be violated and taking their clothes off? I don't know. And like I said, uh, even the cop provided clothes, but it's not even about that. It's definitely about the message. And uh, this is real. We are we are here, and uh, I just got rejected as a Hebrew there, um, with with the story with our own lineage, the own story of my own lineage of our belief, and uh, even worse because they're Christianity, and uh, I don't know, they that that's what it is. They uh, people were all accepting for it. I had people on my side that were police and uh, workers, um, a worker, and they were all happy about it. Two of them, so plural, a plural, they were happy about it, and they were my witnesses. They were women, older women, and they were really, they felt really bad for me. But uh, again, just for that, we're going to make new garments. <laughs> we started off new from here. Then we still be a memory. Uh, I just met Adam as well. So right before Noah's thing and was able to guide, teach him a little righteousness of the way of righteousness. And uh, now I want to put Adam, uh, the real Adam, where it all came from in the times of Noah. It's so early in the scriptures. It's in 6, chapter 6. You see the uh, genealogies and, and uh, chapter 6 of the whole scriptures, you start seeing Noah. And the rest is Israel. So that's the Israelite story. They were they were uh, Hebrews. Hebrews came from um, even before Noah, Eber, you know, then came. Uh, well, no, no, Noah came first, then he, Eber, the Hebrew, uh, through his son uh, Shem, and and so on. Um, yeah, with Shelah and Arpak Chad, the sons of Shem. Uh, and then uh, Eber had Peleg and uh, Peleg and Yokatan, Yokatan, and Yokatan had all the children. <laughs> had a lot of children, and so they were children of Eber and Hebrew. And then came uh, Abraham. So from there came Terah and Abraham. And this is what I want to put it on, the garments that Adam had in the ark, Noah's ark. I have them right here. Uh, I did not steal them. I'm just original. 
So from there, you know, like Noah had them, I'm going to make mine. I had these, and I'm going to, uh, Noah probably did the replica of Adam's uh, robes as well. Um, and that's probably how he dressed too, you know, and he was really fortunate to have the, the robe of Adam. And uh, I'm going to bless these as the robe of Adam and uh, ancient and may they be holy with the colors of the Messiah. Well, it's not going to have gold, but uh, we're going to take it back. Ancient. <laughs> Hallelujah. All still promote Yahuwah, Yahuwah from the beginning to the end. It was, uh, it was a special moment for, you know, for my heart to have seen the Noah ark and, you know, the faith of somebody else. But uh, that faith was this. And it turned out that uh, the owner of it is Ham. His last name is Ham. I read about Ham. He's the cursed one. And this didn't help it any. So maybe a very spiritual, and it is to me a very spiritual, spiritual significance of the times that we're in. And uh, it's just, I'm holy. We're holy. We're a holy people, holy nation. And as long as this book is out and the Father is alive and keeps calling people, we're going to always be holy. So may he continue. I pray for the laborers to come and continue fishing because we are the temples. We are the new. We are inherited the earth. We did what Noah did. So we are, uh, um, and the last days are coming. So we have to big build our thing and our, have an error rat somewhere. And uh, it is time to build our own Noah and our, uh, for these times. Let's get out of her. So hallelujah. I even think a talit can come out of it. So uh, to Noah and Adam, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, from beginning to end, always was the Mashiach. Always in praise. So thank you. And again, reading, spiritual reading, prayer readers, 1 Corinthians 9-11. That's where we're at. So, shalom.